Hello, families. Thank you for joining the Fun with Numbers episode three. My name is Cindy. I will start the circle with a few number songs, and later on, Marie is going to do some fun and exciting activities with you. Now, let's put our hands out, and then we count from one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and we're going to sing the number songs together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten. And now we're going to sing another number song. One, two, three, count with me. It's easy as can be. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's start it all again. And we sing one more time. One, two, three, count with me. It's as easy as can be. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's start it all again. Yeah! Now let's look over at this row. What do you see? Oh, I see cars on the row. Let's count how many cars on the row. One, two, three, four, five. One red car. Yellow car, green car, blue car, orange car. Red car, red car. What do you see? I see a yellow car following me. Yellow car, yellow car. What do you see? I see a green car following me. Green car, green car. What do you see? I see a blue car following me. Blue car, blue car. What do you see? I see an orange car following me. Red car, red car. What do you see now? I see all the cars following me. And now let's see what we're going to see now. What's that? We saw an apple tree. Yay! So how many apples? On the apple tree, let's count: one, two, three, four, five. Five red apples hanging on the apple tree. One fell off, and then there were four. One, two, three, four. Four red apples hanging on the apple tree, and one fell off, and then there were three. One, two, three, three red apples hanging on the apple tree. One fell off, and then there were two. One, two, two red apples hanging on the apple tree. One fell off, and then there were one. One red apple hanging on the apple tree. One fell off, and then there were none. No more apples on the apple tree. But now I saw ladybugs on the leaf of the apple tree. So let's count how many ladybugs we have. One ladybug. Two ladybug, three ladybug, four ladybug, and five ladybug, and six ladybug, and seven ladybug, and eight ladybug, and then nine ladybug. And ten ladybugs. There were ten ladybugs on the leaves. 
One little, two little, three little ladybugs, four little, five little, six little ladybugs, seven little, eight little, nine little ladybugs, ten ladybugs on the leaves. And now I'm going to read a book. This book is called Ten Little Ladybugs. Ten Little Ladybugs by Melanie Guff, illustrated by Laura Huliska Baif. Ten little ladybugs sitting on a vine. Along came a butterfly, then there were nine. Nine little ladybugs skipping on a gate. Along came a caterpillar, then there were eight. Eight little ladybugs looking up at heaven. Along came a bird, and then there were seven. Seven little ladybugs resting on sticks. Along came a grasshopper, then there were six. Six little ladybugs flying near a hive. Along came a bumblebee, then there were five. Five little ladybugs leaping by the shore. Along came a fish. Then there were four, four little ladybugs climbing up a tree. Along came a turtle. Then there were three, three little ladybugs drinking up dew. Along came a duck. Then there were two, two little ladybugs basking in the sun. Along came a frog. Then there was. One, one little ladybug sitting all alone. Along came a breeze, then she was home. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The end. Marie, what activities are you going to do with them? Hello, families, and thank you for watching episode number three of Fun with Numbers. And my name is Marie. I work here at the Early On, and I will be doing two different activities with you families today. The first activity that we're going to be doing is a monster paper bag sorting activity, and the second one is we're going to be doing a sock toss game. So I hope that you will enjoy the materials that I will be presenting and the activities that we're going to be doing together. Okay. So first activity is the monster paper bag sorting activity. Let me tell you the materials that you would need for the monster paper bag sorting activity. So first you need to talk to your child and ask them what kind of materials would they like to sort that's easy to hold and easy to put in a paper bag. For me, I chose to sort some blocks. So I have green, yellow, red, blue. And then you're going to be looking for some markers and crayons or some coloring materials at home and you would look for the same color as the material that you have so for me i have here the green marker crayon yellow marker and crayon red marker and crayon the blue marker and crayon and for the outline of the monster space i chose to have it in color black so i have here the black marker and i have the black crayon so adults, you would be using a scissor to cut the mouth of the monster and you would need to have paper bags. So now let's proceed on how to make the paper bag monsters. So first, we need to know where the opening of the paper bag is so that we know where to draw the eyes. So we need to draw the eyes closer to the opening of the paper bag. We need to draw the mouth closer to the base of the paper bag. So this is the flap and this is the base of the paper bag. For this monster, it's going to be color blue. So I will be using the blue marker and the blue crayon. And I will also be doing a zigzag 
type of mouth for this monster. So let's start drawing. You can make your paper bag as crazy as you want. Next step that we need to do now is we're going to get our scissors and we're going to cut them out. So adults, you need to do that. Now we are ready to open up the blue paper bag monster. Put our hand in. And ta-da! We have our blue paper bag monster. Now, let me show you the other paper bag colors. We are now ready to see all the paper bag monsters. Ta-da! We have our green paper bag, our yellow paper bag, our blue paper bag, and our red paper bag monster. With this activity, you can teach your child how to take turns, also how to wait for their turn. You can also help them to identify and associate the matching colors. You can do that by getting a piece of the material you'd like to sort and putting it closer to the paper bag to see if the colors match. Let's put one red block inside the red paper bag. Now let's try that with a green one. Now let's do that with the yellow one. And the last color that we have is the color blue. After sorting all the materials, you can count with your child how many materials each paper bag color has eaten. When you feel that your child has already enough of playing with this sorting activity, you can put it away for about a week or so and bring it back again. This way you can rotate different materials and toys you have at home. I hope that you and your child will have fun sorting different things that you can find at home. This can be different colors of socks. This could be different colors of cars that they have blocks, and any other small materials that you have at home. I hope that you have enjoyed this activity. Now let's move on in learning how we can play a sock toss game with our child. Families, let me tell you the materials that we would be needing for our sock toss game. The first material that you need is tape. The second material that you need are piece of socks. And each player should have a different type of socks that they will be using. And you can put it in a container such as this. So we need to make the socks into a ball. How do we do that? So this is a sample of how your sock would look like if it were to be a ball. So we're going to put the socks beside each other like this. And we're going to roll it up. And the, you're only going to get one opening and you're going to turn it inside out just like this. And ta-da! You have your sock that turned into a ball. Okay, so now we would need to find a space in the house that's ample to move around because we're going to set up our game. After finding the perfect spot at your home where you can play the sock toss game, you are going to need to cut some pieces of tape. And so the first thing that you need to do is to cut four strips of tape so that you can make a square and that will be the target of where you will be tossing the socks. Okay, so with me, I already have my four pieces of cut tape and you're going to determine where the middle part is. So you can ask your child to help you identify where the middle part of the sock toss name will be. also need to cut 
two long strips of tape to make an X. The X will represent where you would need to stand. So if you have more than two players, you would need to cut more pieces of tape to make X. So now we are going to put the socks that we have close to where the X's are. And it's a very simple game because you just have to stand where the X is and you have to toss the sock. You can count with your child how many pieces of socks you were able to put inside the square. This is also a great activity to practice turn taking and sharing. Thank you families for watching the third episode of Fun With Numbers. I hope that you enjoyed and we'll see you again in another episode. Thank you for watching. Bye!